Hi. If you're anything like me, you'll find that sometimes it doesn't matter what you do, you just can't turn off the mind chatter, the endless kind of round and round and round kind of overthinking that we can all be subjected to from time to time. If this sounds like you, then I can promise you you're not alone. And what I'm going to show you in this video today are my three tips Qigong wise, which can help you to calm that mind chatter down and clear and focus your mind. My name is Janice Tucker and I'm a practitioner of traditional Chinese medicine and medical Qigong. I'm also the founder of the Space to Relax online program of Qigong video lessons. And just before we get started, if you're watching this video on YouTube, then please hit the subscribe key, the red button, so that you can sign up for any future videos with helpful tips and information on how to enhance your health using Qigong. So it can be really exhausting when all of this mind chatter is going on in your brain. All of this chaotic brain activity, what it does is it actually leads to exhaustion on a physical level, but it can also stagnate our emotions as well. And so all of this kind of stagnation and tiredness can actually leave us feeling almost paralyzed so that we can't do anything. We feel overwhelmed, we've got loads of stuff to do, but we're paralyzed and not motivated. We just can't seem to muster up the energy or the enthusiasm to get these things done, even though our mind is going 10 to the dozen. And what happens then is we just end up procrastinating, we end up overthinking, we end up in a real muddle with everything. And so one thing kind of feeds into the other. So the mind chatter is feeding into that exhaustion and stagnation, and that's feeding into us doing even less, which puts us under more pressure and stress, and then we end up with even more mind chatter. So what I'm gonna show you today are my three top tips Qigong wise for helping to calm that mind chatter down. So number one is to breathe into your lower abdomen, breathe into your belly or what's called the Dantian area in Qigong. So as you breathe in, what you're doing is taking a breath into the lower belly as though you're blowing up a balloon so the lower belly expands. As you breathe out, you relax feeling the lower belly shrink and allow the breath just to naturally leave your nostrils as you exhale. So that breath, even just one of those breaths, is really very calming and it works very quickly. What it does is it's almost like it brings all the excitement, all the activity down from up here, going down into your belly and just grounds and calms you. And what that leaves you with up here in your mind is more clarity, and more focus. And when you have more clarity and more focus, generally you're less stressed, you're more able to get things done more efficiently, and by being able to do things more efficiently, you end up saving time, so you're not under so much pressure to get everything else done. So very, very simple exercise in order to bring down all of that chaotic activity from up here into your belly, and leave your mind nice and clear and focused so it can do its job. Now, number two, you might say, oh, well, that's all well and good, but I can't breathe into my belly and concentrate on that because I've got so much going on up here, it just takes over. So if you find that this mind chatter just won't stop whatever, then what you need to do is to give yourself something else to think about. So the way I teach this to my Qigong students is say to yourself, as you're breathing in, just say the little mantra to yourself, I'm breathing in. And then as you exhale, just say to yourself, relax. So I'm breathing in, relax. I'm breathing in, breathing out, and relax. And if you're doing this and thinking of those words in your mind, then it's very difficult for the mind chatter to creep in and take over when you're thinking of something else. So that's a really good tip if you find that you're very easily distracted by what's going on up here. Number three, dump the mind chatter. This is not really a Qigong trick. It's actually a very practical way in order to get 
the stuff you need to do in your that's in your brain out of your brain. And the way in which you dump it is anything that might be causing you emotional worry, a list of things to do, things that you're concerned about, in any way that you, that's up here that's taking up brain space, just write it down on a piece of paper. And once it's out of your brain and it's on the paper, you'll find that it makes a really big difference. Again, it leaves your mind clear. You don't have to hold it in your mind because it's on the piece of paper. It's not like you're going to forget it once you've written it down. So that's a really great practical tip to use to help with the mind chatter. And I use that myself every single day because I've got so many things to remember I would never be able to keep them up here my brain would explode so really it does work I can tell you from personal experience and if you want a little bit more information about using Qigong in order to calm the mind and to help with the mind chatter refer to a previous video of mine which is called how to calm down with qigong and i'll put the link below this video um, in the notes so you can go over to that one and watch that one next and if you want to learn some more qigong you can head over to my homepage, which is space to relax.com and there you can sign up for a three-part video series which is free and will be delivered to your email once you sign up for it, do remember check your spam or promotions folder because that's where it will probably go. And you'll get three lessons delivered to you over the period of around six or seven days. And you get one every couple of days, I think, so you'll have a chance to practice in between. And also on that homepage, spacetorelax.com, you can scroll to the bottom of the page and sign up for a free audio meditation, which is called Calm Your Busy Mind in Eight Minutes. And again, that's a brilliant exercise for helping with mind chatter. Don't forget, if you haven't subscribed to my YouTube channel, then head over to YouTube and hit the red subscribe button so you don't miss any future videos. And also you can head over to Facebook and join the group, which is called Space to Relax Free Group, where I post lots of free information and tips about how Qigong can help you improve your health. And also I'm in that group every day, so if you have any questions for me, you can always post them in there. And if you enjoyed this video and the tips that are here, then please share them with your friends and uh, share this page around the place and uh, give it a like and comment about what you think and what you do to help calm the mind chatter. I'd love to hear from you. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time.